So Dylan just woke me up, and we're now going to leave, I think. Yep. Start of the awesome. Japan by bike. Woo! It's, uh, well, what time is it? It's 4.30, 4.30 in the morning. The sun's gonna come up soon, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Launch. to Yakushima for our pre-trip bonding in the woods. Oh yeah. It was a challenging day. I hope none of the other days are this hard. We had to take our bikes apart. Twice. Part of the way. Well, we took them apart part of the way to get on one train. Then we had to take them apart some more to get on another train. We got off the train, we put them back together, rode to the ferry, and found out that we had to take them apart again. And then we put them back together and got on them. We've been riding for about two, two and a half hours. This, uh, this is the, where we camped for the first night. It's a pretty sweet location. Check it out. Got up to the trailhead after forgetting my stove. Well, not my stove, Andy's stove, Andrew's stove. But uh, I'm gonna be camping tonight in the mountains. I think they're gonna head back to the campsite. And I have fashioned a backpack from my pannier. Here I go. Hey there! Just hit the railroad tracks, which I knew existed, but I didn't know it was along my path. But this is great news because it means I can pick up some time. And I would really like to get to Jomonsugi before dark. I didn't make it to Jomonsugi before dark, but I am about 30 minutes away. Well, I got here. This is Joe Monsugi in front of me, I'll show it to you in a sec. It's another 10 minutes to the hut where I'm gonna eat something and sleep. And I'm exhausted. I would say it was worth it. It's, it's pretty amazing, you won't be able to see very well, but just stop. Okay, so I'm at the hut. Just at dinner. I'm about to go to sleep. I want to show you this visitor that keeps on trying to eat my food. Already go.
Oh, hey internet. Here we are, just hanging out at uh, Cape Sata, the southernmost point in Japan. About to start our Japan by Bicycle end-to-end -end tour of Japan. Alright, we are about to start our first kilometer of the trip. Here we go. Start! Day two of the trip, and we already have rain. Really hot. Scott has just eaten his first takoyaki or octopus ball. How is it? Squishy. Nagasaki. We just landed here by ferry and we're gonna follow the coast up and around and then go down to Nagasaki City so tomorrow we can tour the Atomic Memorials. My spoke broke. We made it to Nagasaki. We're going to have some champan. Yeah. It's kind of later than we thought it would be because today we did a lot of things we didn't expect we would do and now we're in an elevator with oh. other people. Scott, why don't you just pick up that egg? Just use the chopsticks. Use the chopsticks to pick up that egg. That's what they're there for. Just pick up the egg. Yeah, just pick it up. There you go. Oh, yeah. you almost had it. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, uh -huh. That's it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you know? We're here, day six, Japan by bicycle, about to see the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum. I'm not entirely sure what to expect, so let's see what it looks like. Crashed, kind of road rash my whole left side. A little bit disappointing. 
really scary, actually. I guess that's what I get for looking backwards while trying to ride forwards. Not the smartest move. So the uh, x-ray said that I had no fractures, but uh, they bandaged me up and I should be good to go. My left hand hurts a lot. can't really grip anything. It's good to know I'm safe and sound, more or less. So what I did was I just took out that spring. Oh. There we are. Final preparations to depart Lori's for the second time. Amazingly, Dylan has found the time to fix her uh, her gas burner. That's awesome. And uh, Scott is doing creative things with okay, his iPod. And the guest room is its normal state of disarray as we finally try to depart. So. It was a good stop, a little bit longer than we expected because I got a blood infection on my hand, but we made good use of the delay here. Recharged, ready to head out to Honshu tomorrow. We are at Joyful, popular restaurant chain in Japan. If you could take one thing on the trip with you, and it would fit in your bags, the weight doesn't make a difference, what would you take? Maybe a nice soft recliner that has coolant running through it so you just you get off the bike and you plop into the cooled recliner mm -hmm. that's a good one sounds pretty good yeah. Yeah, all right okay what else we got i mean maybe like a vespa, vespa. If I could fit a vespa. <laughs> <laughs> to swap out <laughs> just Either that or uh, a really like live person to pedal my bike for me while I just sit around. I'm thinking a commercial kitchen, nice big counters, a gas range, some ovens, and a fully stocked pantry. That's a bit more than one thing. No, it's a commercial kitchen. I would bring a commercial kitchen with all those things inside of it. This is gonna be a really hard video to edit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Should I just cut it out? Yeah. Good news, the doctor, as expected, said that the blood infection has passed, and so now we are back on the road, finally. We're gonna today break into Honshu, the main island of Japan. That's about it. Hiroshima. This is the second Atomic Memorial Museum, so it'll be interesting to see what the differences are.
Hiroshima about to have uh, okonomiyaki. It's uh, the specialty of Hiroshima, especially their uh, their noodle okonomiyaki. It's sort of a Japanese omelet slash pancake slash whatever you want. I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be delicious. Say that again? Yesterday we passed our 1,000 kilometer mark too. Nice. Here we are in Okayama and it's laundry day. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, and look, Dylan made it back and he's drinking milk. Yay! Hey, Kansai! Okay, about an hour out of Himeji in Kansai area. We were on our way to a bike shop to change one of my spokes that broke. No big surprise, a little bit frustrating. Um, and we're just stopping off at a Lawson's. Dylan hits a weird bump in the road and Taco is his wheel. Check out how this looks. Jeez, it's pretty bad. Finally, we have someone who's going to fix my wheel, not just one or two spokes, but they, they have a new wheel that they think is going to carry the weight all the way to Hokkaido. Here's the bike. Right here, if you can picture it, is a new, shiny, awesome wheel that can bear the weight of my heavy bags. Also, Dylan's wheel, they're gonna fix that. They even worked on Scott's bike, which is usually fine. They did some free work on that. Cycle shop tomato for the win. Come here. Oh, it's hot. Good. We are in Himeji and we are eating yakitori, which is skewered grilled stuff. And Andy is about to try his first heart. Grilled heart. How is it? It's got a very rich flavor, kind of chewy. Not bad. I like it. Got some squid here and a little octopus here, so ah, gonna go for it. Nice. That's delicious. Okay, here we are at Fushiminari Dera. 
this is a temple in Kyoto, known for its red arch walkways. It's dedicated to the goddess Inari, which is the goddess of rice. And uh, there are apparently thousands of temples, smaller but similar to it, all around Japan. This sort of red arch walkway, but this, this is the original. The orange. Okay, okay. You got it. Yeah, that was in. Go. Yep. One yen. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Second. Oh, I've got no more. That's okay. Not really. Scott has bad luck for the rest of the year. Bummer. Oh. Uh. Important fact about Japan for those of you with a, uh, a Western persuasion. Uh, one thing they seem to not care about at all is men's washrooms and sight lines. Case in point, right off of a busy road we have a pair of urinals. This is the men's washroom. Let's just go back for a moment to illustrate. That guy walking right past the open men's washroom. Oh, hey Dylan, are you about to pee? No, I just went and saw the urinal. That's all. Okay. Here we are in Osaka. We found an internet cafe, and we even got neighboring booths, which we can see each other through. Woohoo! Internet cafe in Osaka! Yeah! Per the usual, we get a matted cubicle that's fairly small, and internet, free drink bar. This one was only 1,500 yen, but the showers are 500, so it still comes out to about 2,000 yen. It's a good bargain for a cheap travel in Japan. We are just coming from Osaka now, trying to get to Nara. There appears to be a large mountain in the way. We tried biking up and uh, had to give up, get off our bikes and push. Osaka is back that way. And we really hope that Nada is up over the mountain this way. Hey Andy, what's up? Oh, you know, just biking up a mountain. Cool. And although it was supposed to be an easy 30k, we ran into mountains and ended up sadly missing the, uh, the last entrance time by 20 minutes. So now we are stuck here, looking through the slats at the biggest freestanding building on earth. Probably wasn't going to be any fun anyway.
This is Dylan with Japan by Bicycle. We're taking a bit of a rest and a relaxation day today. We already took care of the rest. And this, well, this is the relaxation. We are here in Kameyama in, are we in Nara, Nara Prefecture? Mie. Mie. Camping next to a bamboo forest, next to a river, also next to rice fields. Figure that out. Dylan is making caramel. Check it out. How do you make caramel, Dylan? Start with sugar. Mm hmm. A little bit of water. Get yep. dissolved. Get this stage. And I've got some cream here set up, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt. Dylan can basically make anything given time. I'd like to think that's true. Check out the spread. These are all full of caramel, like every dish we have. Oh, so good. <laughs> So we are in a Japanese restroom in McDonald's, and it's one of the nicest restrooms I've been in. Classical music playing, very clean, and as you walk into the stall, the lid opens. And there's a nice little control deck here, it gives you a time so you can see how long you've been in here. and. Um, also have control for a large or a small flush. It's kind of a pleasant experience. Yeah. Restrooms in Japan, very nice. Scott? Shizuoka Station. Oh, right. About to bike on another 35 kilometers, and we've already biked 160. Dylan has also only had about two hours of sleep, so... It's gonna be a late night. We love Japan! My bicycle! Okay, so how many mouthfuls do you think you can finish Scott and my Coca-Cola in? Two. Two mouthfuls? Here we go. No chugging. Stretching is allowed. Yes. Oh, I think he can do it one. I don't think one is going to happen. He has opened his gullet quite a ways. No, definitely not too. I want him to just spew it right now. Oh, this is too easy. No, this is impressive. He makes it look easy. <laughs> this is how talented Japan by Bicycle is. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> There's so little left. That was close. Just your back wash there. <laughs> hey, 167. Woo! Oh yeah, Scott and first I just century. did our first century, which means 100 miles in one day. Yeah. Yes. Unfortunately, we still have about 30 more k to go yeah. before we're done for the day. So. Yeah. Woo. I'm Dylan. Well, hit by a typhoon last night at about midnight. The rain seems to 
not be letting up until sometime tomorrow or the day afterwards in the morning. Fortunately though, we are at Tuttle's friend in uh, near Mount Fuji and uh, pretty nice accommodation. So I can think of much worse places to be stranded. Here we are at Yakiniku King, which means Grilled Meat King. It's an all-you-can-eat meat place. You order meat, they bring it to your table, you cook it yourself. Check this out. Excellent demonstration, Dylan. Thank you. Scott? Well, this is hot, but beef and bop. Day 31. Dylan's making breakfast. What do we got, Dylan? Here we have some oatmeal that is part of an ongoing series of experiments to determine if kimchi really does make everything better. Kimchi and eggplant oatmeal with caramelized onions. Mmm, thank you. We're now biking through the Southern Alps. They're quite impressive. Currently sitting on the sea coast after having successfully surmounted the North and South Alps in about two days, just watching the sunset into the Sea of Japan. Alas, a flat tire. We were just wandering through this town and um, we asked these people if they knew a good place that we could camp at Pretty much only because their dog barked at us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they offered us the, uh, their lawn and then they invited us in and they fed us curry and rice and yakisoba. yakisoba and, and now we're watching I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. Yeah. We would not have had this experience had they not let us in. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Japanese hospitality. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you so much. Hi. We made it to Niigata earlier than expected today. We are hanging out at a shrine right now. Dylan's cooking dinner, and uh, we're waiting for our couch surfer uh, until we can meet with her at eight o'clock. This paper is for protection. Huh. Did you get the instructions? It's intense. I think the instructions probably melted it off the page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself. Your glasses are fogging. <laughs> yeah, they do. Dylan got another puncture in his tire. Nice day riding, though. Day 
2036. After about 140 kilometers, we made it to Akita City in Akita Prefecture, and we met up with our couch surfing host tonight, and look at the spread that he prepared for us. This is amazing. This is Jinsai, um, Akita's uh, specialty, kind of uh, their soul food. And uh, I'm gonna try it with a little bit of garlic. There, not garlic, ginger. Mm. Green olive. So good. Here we are, day 37. When we stop at supermarkets, we're looking for calories for cheap. So here's what I figured out. You buy a tub of yogurt for 100 yen, this thing has about 400 calories in it. Then, you buy a sleeve of cookies, this has about 300 calories in it. This is 100 yen, this is 100 yen. I've already gotten one sleeve of cookies in there, we're gonna go double time. Check this out. So you just put all the cookies into the yogurt, you mix it up, get a little yogurt on your fingers I guess. Nice spoon. And, oh, thanks. Under 300 yen, tons of calories, delicious. That's the way to go. This might be the last video that I take from Honshu kind of cool because we've biked the whole thing now. I'm excited for Hokkaido. This is the ferry that's going to take us there. See you on the other side. First morning in Hokkaido, we camped in this park. Okay, Hokkaido. Here we are, day 42 of Japan by Bicycle. We are on the outskirts of Shonanbets, which is in the very northern part of Hokkaido, about 120 kilometers from Soya Misaki, Cape Soya, that's our goal. So only one day left, we'll have 43 days total. He just brought out some really nice, don't worry about that. This is the last day. Yeah. Here we are in a ramen shop. Mm. 
Okay, this is Japan Boy Bicycle, the last day, day 43. Uh, I'm taking on an ice cream challenge. Every Seiko Mart that we pass, which has this delicious ice cream bar, I'm going to eat one ice cream bar. You can't do it. I can do it. I will do it. Mm. The flat scenery just never really changes as we go by it. It just stays the same. Beanie stop, Seiko Mart, before the trip is over. We just biked the length of Japan. That's 3,580 kilometers. We're on our bikes for 175 hours and one minute. What's next? So Dylan has two minutes and a few seconds to finish his tenth ice cream of the day. Ten Seiko marks, ten ice cream. I think he's gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Two thousand six hundred calories of pure ice cream today. Almost the only thing I ate. Still delicious. Oh. Count it. I hey, just wanted to take a second to give a quick update. We're here in Wakanai, Japan, and uh, we just finished the bike trip. We also met our fundraising goal of $10,000 and raised over $10,000, and it's thanks to you all. We're here now with our Nepalese couch surfing hosts, and we're about to celebrate our completion of the trip. Thanks again. Bye.